Hey everybody, hey. Welcome, welcome to um, week 15 on Transcribers FTM. It's Snappy Sunday with Darling Nikki, and this week we're talking about support and networking, and Gabe's here to help me out this week. Um, we're actually recording this on Saturday night. It's Saturday. Woo! Because tomorrow we're having a pajama day, and we're not showering or really getting ready. I mean, we might shower, but we're not like getting dressed per se, and um, so I decided I didn't want to make my video whilst wearing a kitty nightgown. So, we're going to do it tonight, and yeah. then we're going to post it tomorrow. All right, support and networking. Where do you as a significant other go for support and networking? Do you have a support group? Is your family supportive? Are your friends supportive? Um, yeah, I do have a support group. Um, well, we go to a group, actually. It, it used to be Gabe's like group therapy session that was run by his therapist, but it's recently kind of like changing into this um, just like group getting together that's not affiliated with therapists, not affiliated with an organization. So it's right. just like people hanging um, out and talking. Our therapist decided that it would be really empowering for the trans community locally um, for us to have a trans round group for um, trans people and uh, trans allies and not have it be facilitated by anybody, just have it be uh, a bunch of people getting together to talk about anything they need to talk about. So she's kind of bowing out gracefully and giving us the space to uh, run a group. Which is great, because we've actually yeah. met a lot of really good friends through that group, and um, it's definitely been a huge uh, form of support for me, and I think for Gabe, too. Yeah. Um, is my family supportive? I mean, to an extent, but it's not like I could call one of them up and be like, oh, Gabe, you know, somebody used the wrong pronouns of him today, and I'm really bummed, I need your support. They probably wouldn't get that. Um, my mom and my sister are both pretty good at relationship advice and just advice in general, so um, that is helpful, but not not pertaining to the transition, per se. Um, and as for my friends, uh... Nope. Not really. No. Not really. Um... Uh, we've talked about it a little before, like, uh, it seems like our friends, not all of them, but our friends with uh, lesbian identities seem to really be struggling with it. Um, and are not necessarily the people I would go to. Yeah, and I particular. don't really either. Um, I would say that some of the friends that I do go to that do support me are friends that I've met through um, various online communities, um, which I guess is the next question. Do you, do you participate in any online communities or forums as a form of support? Which, and yes, um, the women's room has been um, pretty helpful. Yeah. Um, so that's been good, and obviously YouTube, and definitely being on this, this channel has been really good for me. Um, one uh, one person that I really go to a lot is Leisha from the channel, and um, hi Leisha, hey girl, hey, and Tyler, um, <laughs> what's up, dude? So that's she's awesome, and all the transcribers are awesome, so they're really good for advice. So I would say YouTube and the women's room. So yeah, my friends, but mostly my friends that I've met through either online communities or our support group. Um, and other partners, definitely. Our, our trans-friendly friends. Right. Our trans-friendly friends and our trans friends and their partners. Yes. yes. All right. Where does your boyfriend or partner go for support to you? That means me. Um, his family, friends, a group, or an online community or forum? Um, well, I have Nikki, which is awesome. Um, family, not so much. Not so much. No. No. Um, Maybe someday. I hope. They still talk about us as you girls, so that's great. Uh, friends, um, it depends. Uh, I've made friends with a lot of trans guys, and that's been great. Um, we can talk about all kinds of stuff, and it's it's awesome. It's like being in a fraternity. Um, I am a member of the men's room, which is okay. I mean, it is what it is. And, of course, YouTube. YouTube's been great, so... We were a part of an online community called um, Love My FTM, which was um, hosted by the same site as the women's room and the men's room. Am I right in saying that? Yeah. Yes. Um, however, recently the person who was running it um, has sort of left it and... He's having some financial troubles. Which really family. bums me out because he did a really good job and was really just a, a great guy and I wish he was still affiliated with the site because now it's sort of 
random, and there's like a dating part of the site, and people aren't on it as much, and I think it's still like a useful community, but it's just not the same now, so I don't know. I'll post links to the men's room, the women's room, and love my FTM. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. In what way specifically do you support your boyfriend or partner with regards to his transition or trans identity? Um, she never messes up pronouns. I, that's true. I don't. Um, thank you. I do a lot of research, a lot of reading. I try to stay well informed and up on things and up on current events and laws and what's going on in the trans community. Um, I try to be... And that's locally and nationally. Yeah. I try to be, um, constantly meeting people and interacting with people, finding out, um, what is to come in the future and, um, and also, like... I feel like it's not just about supporting Gabe, but also just about supporting the community on the whole. So I like to do a lot of interacting with other significant others who are in the same situation that I am in and who are going through things that I've gone through. And, and you know, if I could help them, you know, to anticipate what's coming in the future, I try to do that as well. So I think that, like, being so supportive to the community is inadvertently supportive to Gabe because he can see how important it is to me, I feel like. Um, I also am really open to, like, meeting all of Gabe's friends and, um, all of his trans friends and their partners and, um, networking with them, so I think that that shows that I support him as well, and I'm constantly prying information out of him, like, just making sure that he's okay and that everything's going well, and because he might not necessarily always be like, hey, I really need to talk to you about this, when sometimes he does, and that's just part of who he is, and I love him for that, so sometimes we just... I just have to make sure everything's okay. Um, let's see. In what ways... Are we on this one? Yeah. In what ways have you supported your partner in the past concerning his trans identity? Well, in the beginning, I didn't. I was really quite mean and not very accepting. It's mean girl. I wasn't... I don't mean girl. It took me a while, but then... But then, once I started to support and once I started to understand, that's after I did all the research and learning and everything, then, um, you know, it got better, but the first thing I did was I started researching and reading and, and finding everything out that I could, um, trying to understand what this meant and what was to come. So that was, I would say, in the past, that's definitely what I did. Um, how does your boyfriend or partner support you with regards to his trans identity um, and his transition? Okay, before we started making this, I, I just looked at Nikki and I said, I don't. But you do, though. I'm lousy. You're not oh, lousy. Oh, I'm lousy. Um, well, I know, like, like a month ago or so, I went to a symposium that was put on by Trans Ohio, and I made sure to go to all the sessions that talked about the partner experience just because I, I don't understand it. You know, it's not, it's not my experience. Um. And that was really so, helpful. You supported me because then he came home and was able to tell me everything he learned because I wasn't able to be there. So that was really helpful. And he goes along with all my ploys of trying to pry information out of him, and he does talk to me. So yeah. so that is really good support. And we also, um, you know, we're really open to meeting other trans people, and we, we try to have trans people and their partners over and hang out and talk because it's important to me that, not only does Nikki meet my trans friends, but it's important that she meets their partners as well. Which is great. It's been really, really great to interact with those people. And very important. Okay, big question. Last one. Some say it's better for trans guys, oh, better for trans guys to be single during their transition. How do you feel about the statement? Do you agree or disagree? Uh, I want Gabe to answer this mm, because excuse me. I just, when Gabe first came out um, as trans to me, I was like, man, you know, I always hear people say that it's better for guys to be single during their transition, and so, I mean, what do you think? I think it's really dependent on what your personal relationships have been like prior to you coming to terms with your trans identity and deciding to do something about it. Like, you know, if somebody's been in a short-term relationship with somebody and they don't know each other very well and a trans guy comes out, it might be harder for their partner to understand and, and support and they can very easily make the decision to not go along with it but if it's like what we've been through or like what some of the other people in our group have been through it's almost better I mean I know for me it's been better to have her support because I don't think I could do it without her so oh. well that's nice <laughs> so 
All right, well, that's that. That's, I think you're right, though. You have to have, I mean, it's, you don't have to, but it's nice to have that founded foundation. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that's all for this week, and thanks for being on again, Gabe. Oh, sure. And we'll see you all next week for another edition of Snappy Sundays with Darling Nikki. See you guys. Little bird, little bird, little bird.